first of all, I want to thank you guys for coming here. Believe it or not, it's been 35 years since Monster started. You were right here at the hometown where it all began. With no lead, the head monster. Let's give it up for 35 years of Monster! No lead, the head monster! Thank you, Greg. Hey, welcome, everybody! Uh, that's why uh, you're here, so you can hear the inside story uh, of Monster and Beats. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. Yeah. So first I'm going to bring to the stage, um, stage, uh, bring to the red carpet, okay, uh, somebody very dear to me, and uh, he was uh, very much involved at the very beginning of uh, the Beats relationship. First, I want to point out, this is a shot taken at Monster on the day that Jimmy and Dre uh, came to visit, and we strategized. Uh, we had visions of how uh, this whole thing was going to unfold. And at that time, and you guys can relate to uh, you know uh, the startup days when you're thinking around the uh, coffee table and you know, around the kitchen table what, what things might be. Well, that's, that's that picture right there. And then uh, if you go to the next one, you'll see uh, some additional people with uh, uh, my son Kevin Lee. Okay, and uh, uh, Tom Land and Steve Berman, who uh, really helped put the thing together. So uh, let's give it up for Mr. Kevin Lee to tell you his story. Okay. Well, I was born in San Francisco by uh, this guy here. Luckily, he was uh, had a vision to have a baby, and that was me. Yeah. And uh, we have a. Uh, uh, a timeline here someplace. Richard? Is Richard here? He's he can hear you. Okay. Uh, Richard, where is the timeline? <laughs> <laughs> and when you put that uh, studio headphone on and you watch for the smile, uh, well, uh, whether you're a musician or a consumer, it was unbelievable. It was a revelation and we knew we had something. So. Uh, Kevin, can you come up here for a second? And you want to? How many of you would like to see the original studio prototype that was made? That's never been in public eyes before. Would you guys like to see it? Yes. Okay. So, Dave, come on. Uh, uh, let's. There you go. Beautiful specimen of a Beats headphone. So uh, this was one of the original prototypes, and we can uh, we'll go walk around, and uh, so you can see it, everybody can see it. You know, had some of the form factor, uh, but I, I tell you, it didn't have the sound. Okay, and it took us a long time to get the sound right and the noise canceling right, which was a uh, a real trick because you know noise canceling is anti music, so you have to you know have a balance between noise canceling and the actual sound of real music. So uh, you see up on the wall here uh, a lot of the history. And uh, hey, Marty, can you go ahead and uh, let, it, let it circulate? I also wanted to point out to you uh, the beatbox, the beatbox portable. And here are uh, some of the actual sign uh, prototypes of now history. Uh, we should put this in a a museum. Maybe I can sell them back to Dre. He's <laughs> <laughs> got the money. <laughs> and uh, in fact, originally we were going to make a subwoofer that went underneath the beatbox uh, to supplement the bass. And uh, when we got done with the beatbox, there, were, there was no need. I mean, I, I demoed it to uh, Noel and Jimmy, and they said, we don't need a bass. I mean, we don't need a subwoofer. So that was the end of the subwoofer, but then we made the uh, beatbox and steroids. But one of the things that's very important in like the first studio, the thing is that standard music has got pretty much constant uh, content, frequency-wise. Frequency well, what we did is we studied uh, hip-hop, and somewhere in the 50 to 70 hertz range, 
the gym really has a bump of 10 to 12 dB. Okay, and content. We're not talking frequency response. We're talking about content. So when you design the headphone, what do you think we have to do about being able to... Uh, Monster was Beats for the first five years. So where are we now? Okay, so uh, I have some questions. So what's Monster doing? Well, we have to reinvent ourselves with better technology, better music reproduction, and some very, very strong partners. So let's talk about the music reproduction and the technology it takes to do this. Uh, it is another level of uh, dynamics.